Hey, what's up guys, CJ here, and as you all know, I am back with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the US Diversity Visa Lottery. Once again, it is that time of the year. The window is open. You can apply for a US green card. So sit back, grab a pen and paper, because I'll be giving you detailed information. And while you're at it, you can hit that subscribe button because I'll be bringing you more value in the future. So the window opened on the 4th of October and it is going to close on the 7th of November 2023. Participants from eligible countries can enter the lottery during this specific period. And this period is typically announced well in advance each year. The diversity visa lottery, often referred to as the green card lottery, is a program that is administered by the United States government through the U.S. Department of State. Its purpose is to promote diversity amongst immigrants in the United States. Each year, a certain number of visas are made available to individuals from countries of low rate of immigration to the United States. So if you apply, make sure to check if your country is eligible this year. I will have this link in the video description for a list of eligible countries. The selection process is random and winners are chosen through a computer generated uh, program. If selected, individuals and their immediate family members are eligible to apply for a US immigrant visa, commonly known as the green card, granting them the opportunity to live and work in the United States on a permanent basis. This program plays a vital role in diversifying the immigrant population in the United States by offering a chance for individuals from underrepresented countries to pursue the American dream. However, guys, winning the diversity visa lottery doesn't guarantee entry. Applicants must still meet certain eligibility requirements and should go through the standard immigration processes. These requirements include criminal background checks and medical screenings to ensure that you are free from any communicable diseases and you are free from any criminal records that are going to deem you inadmissible into the United States. So in this video, I just want to show you guys how to go about applying for this program and also show you how to come up with the right photo that meets the different specifications that are required for this program. Passport details are no longer required during the application process or the registration process, but they elect, the passport itself is later on required when you are selected to apply. So let's go ahead and go to my computer screen so I can show you the whole application process and how to crop your photo to meet the specific requirements. The website that we're going to visit is dvprogram.state.gov. As you can see on the screen so let's visit on um, let's visit that link and then we're gonna land on this page so this page has all the information that you need to know about the dv lottery or the, DV, the electronic diversity visa program uh, it has all the instructions for the dv 2025 you can click on this button to read all the instructions but i'm not going to do it now for the sake of the video and then this is what we are interested in the photo examples and when you want to begin your application you click on this green button where this is where you're gonna uh, input all your information we're gonna do that later but for now let me show you how to come up with the right photo that is required for the uh, TV program so let's click on this button photo examples so you're gonna land on this page um, they just gonna summarize this just gonna give you all this information in summary of what is required of you to come up with the right photo uh, you can read this on your own uh, but basically it's just uh, what I've been talking about that you need to have a white background um, no glasses the right size and everything but me I'm going to go straight to the photo tool that is the tool that I was telling you about the tool that is used to crop the photo to the right sizes and dimensions so when you land on this photo tool on the uh, on this other side uh, this other side it's gonna show you all the, the summarized instructions or the summarized uh, specifications 
uh, or, or a guide, I would say a guide that is going to guide you on how to come up with the proper photo. So as you can see, it shows you the basic uh, accepted examples of photos, um, the position of your face and everything. Uh, your face should be centered. As you can see with all the other photos with the red crosses, it means that they are not accepted. This first one is too large. The, the, the face is too large and there is no much space on the edges of the photo between the face and the edges of the photo. Um, this one is not centered and this person is too far from the camera and is also wearing glass, I mean glasses. So this photo is not accepted. And then the pause and expression. You should have a neutral expression and you should be looking straight at the lens of the camera. Just as you can see, the photos with the red crosses are not accepted. This guy is looking up for some reason. This guy is looking down. He's not looking at the lens of the camera. And this is the accepted photo. The lady has a, a neutral facial expression and is looking straight at the lens of the camera. And this one is not accepted. This guy is just making a face, uh, a grin or whatever whatever he is doing. It's not accepted. And then the glasses, like I said, glasses are not allowed. Whether it's prescription glasses or not, you have to remove your glasses before you take the photo. Attire. If you wear an attire for religious purposes, you should make sure that your attire doesn't obscure your face or doesn't cover your face. Uh, attires, religious attires, or I mean, attires that are religious or worn for health uh, purposes are allowed but you should make sure that your attire is not covering any part of your face as you can see which type of photo is allowed and is not and if you have long hair make sure that you pull it backwards it doesn't cover any part of your face as you guys can see then shadows and lighting as you can see you have to have proper lighting not no shadows on your face no over exposure uh, the background should be white um, the resolution and quality you should have 600 by 600 pixels uh, but you shouldn't go you shouldn't worry about that because this photo tool is gonna come up <coughs> with the right um, uh, resolution and the pixels for your photo all you have to worry about is coming up with the clear um, you know photo that is uh, focused as you can see these other pictures are not focused and some are pixelated so those types are not allowed. You have to have a sharp image that you're going to input into this photo tool to crop it. So yeah, let's just let's just go ahead and, and crop the photos just so you guys can see how to go about doing that. So you click on choose photo. I'm just gonna use um, my picture for the sake of demonstration purposes. As you can see, this picture. Uh, let me uh, increase the size. Um, view extra large as you can see that my picture is large and it's not the right dimensions you can see the resolution uh, is 300 uh, I mean 3880 by 1808 pixels which is way above what is required so we have to crop the picture on the tool but uh, let's select the picture so you click on the picture so at first the tool is going to attempt to automatically crop the picture for you but you in most cases you will have to choose crop manually because as you can see the the photo is not perfect it's not uh, cropped correctly so you just click on crop manually and this is the tutorial it shows you how to go about cropping the picture uh, you have to close the tutorial um, so this is the picture the first thing that you have to do you have to drag these two red eyes to the position of your eyes on whatever picture that you're using so we're gonna go ahead and drag this first one you can also do this on your mobile device but it's kind of <coughs> tricky on a phone it's way easier on a laptop or a computer because you're using the mouse to drag um, these uh, eyes <coughs> excuse me guys so as you can see that I've just manually cropped the picture it's getting a bit better but still there is a problem because the photo is not centered remember guys the photo has to be centered as you can see this guy's uh, picture is centered in the middle this one is kind of is currently not centered but the good thing is you can still adjust that you can move your eyes uh, sideways or depending on where the position of your face is 
just to get the picture centered before you accept and proceed so i'm just gonna go ahead and move it move this eye to the right side it is that that is too much bring it back um uh, bring this one a little bit no this is coming okay but still not perfect i'm gonna go ahead and move it it doesn't matter if uh this uh the eye icons or whatever there is um doesn't fall straight on your eyes what is m important is to have the picture of uh, the right you know dimensions and the requirements this is too much actually actually this is okay I mean it seems okay but it's not 100% centered but you get the point guys you have to have your face in the middle of the you know the picture so we go ahead and accept and proceed so this is the the picture that we are going to use I um, mean this is the picture that you're gonna come up with after you cropped your uh, your picture and then you go ahead and download it to your device here we go it's downloaded and this is the picture see it has the right uh, the size is 118 kilobytes and it is the dimensions are 600 by 600 pixels which is the right uh, requirement so that is it guys about the picture okay guys let's go ahead and do the application we're gonna head back to the main page which is the dvprogram.state.gov and then we go to the screen button begin entry so hoping that you have all your information that you require to input the forms you have all your documents all your passports or whatever information that you may need to input your official names and uh, personal information so you click on that and then we're going to come up on this page which has a code you have to type in that code um, as it appears for verification or security purposes so that is 8s v n see you type it as it is as you see then you're gonna land on this page which uh, is titled part one entrant information that is the primary entrant that is you so you type in your last name first name and middle name as they appear on your passport so I'm just gonna use random names for demonstration purposes so yeah let's go ahead let's say that you are a maid so Second name is Kumalo. First name is Sandile. And middle name is James. If you have non middle name, you just click on this uh, checkbox that says no middle name, and that is going to disable that, um, you know, that part of middle name. So by, in this case, we have middle, a middle name that is James. And then you choose your gender. You pick your gender if you are male or female. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you type your date of birth as it appears on your uh, passport or your official ID. So I'm just gonna use a random uh, random date. We start with the month, zero eight. That is uh, August. And then day, fifteen August. And year uh, say 1976 that is the date of birth and then the city say you were born in um Bavane. Bavane. and if your bed city is not known you just click on bed city unknown so and then the country that you were born in uh, say you were born in uh swaziland eswatini and then we go on to the next step so they talking about your country of eligibility for the dv program as you remember guys at the first um, i mean at the beginning of this video i told you that it's not all countries that are eligible to apply on the dv program it's countries that are underrepresented in the united states so if your country is not in the list of eligible countries then you are not eligible to apply for the dv program but in some cases some people have multiple citizenships you may be born in a country that is not eligible at that time 
for instance say you were born in Nigeria Nigeria may not be eligible at that year but you then moved to maybe South Africa and you got a South African citizenship so you have to choose in this section um, that I'm choosing to up to use South Africa as my country of eligibility for the TV program so that is what this section means but if you have one citizenship one country you just uh, you just select yes they ask you here that are you claiming eligibility based on the country that you where you were born so in this case this person has one citizenship and he was born in this country Eswatini so we just click yes I am claiming eligibility based on the country that I was born in and then move on to section 7 which is the photograph so we have done everything about the photo we've talked about the photo I'm not gonna say a lot we're just gonna click on choose new photo and then you click on uh, let's say this this is the the guy you click on that picture then this is the picture it's selected and then you type on your address your mailing address say your mailing address is P O box box mm, say nine five city Mabane oh, my typing skills district county province or state Mabane is in the whole region in Swaziland then the postal code is uh, O H one hundred. No postal code if you don't have a postal code. And then the country is Eswatini. Of course, guys, you're gonna pick your own um, postal address that applies in your country. So that is it about the postal address. And this in care of it's optional. This is used in the cases where a mailbox is only picked up by one person say you live in in one building and there's only one mailbox in that building so there's one person that has to pick up that mailbox so you have to type in that person's name who's responsible for picking up the mail so yeah that is it so country you select a country where you live today whether it's outside your your citizen country or your country of nationality you select that country so say in this case this guy is uh in eswatini and then phone number is optional you can leave that and then you type in your email address you type in your email address uh, I'm just gonna use a random email address you type in your email address that you have access to an email address that you have access to guys make sure that you because they're going to communicate to you through that email address and then you pick your education level your highest education level um, yeah so say you uh, have a master's degree you click on that and then you click your marital status say you are married so if you click married then you'll be uh, asked to input your spouse's name or your, your spouse's information say you're married married and my spouse is not a US citizen or US I mean permanent resident so click on that and then number of children say you have one child with your spouse so we click continue that is the part uh, two that's the derivative that I talked to you about earlier guys uh, so you're gonna have to put in your spouse's information say your spouse's name is Latoya um, oh excuse me it's the second name family name Lamini Latoya and no middle name then the spouse's date of birth is um, February the other two day 10th of February and say um, 1985 
and then just process to see maze. The city where your spouse or was born is say the city is unknown, the bad city is unknown. The country where the spouse was born, uh, same country, uh, is Watini. Then you choose your spouse's photograph because when you have uh, derivatives, you have to um, have all the photos of your derivatives. So yeah, this is your spouse's photo. And then you, you, you remember that we selected one child. So there is uh, the section of the child here. You have to input the child's name. Say your child's name is, um, obviously the second name is Kumalo. And then the, guy, uh, the child's name is um, David. And then middle name is say um, Michael. And then the date of birth of your child, so like 25, I mean, no, 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 month, that's 05, day, um, 25 May, uh, 2006. And then the child, say the child is May. And then the bed city, bed city, say in Babane. Um, country where the child was born, Eswatini. And then you pick the child's photograph. This is the child. And then we continue. That is it, guys. That is it. That is it about the application. It's straightforward. It's quick. There's not much information. Remember, I told you that they remove the section where they require a passport. And so this has shortened the uh, application drastically. So this is it. This is it. And then you have to click submit. And you click submit all the information is uh, uploaded and then click on submit that is it then you're gonna get this document for the primary applicant which is you Kumalo Sandy James it is going to come up with your entrance name your confirmation number this number is very important guys this confirmation number this number you are going to use this number to check for the status next year when the results are out if you have been selected or not so it is very important that you keep this document what i do is i just right click on this page and then print and then save the document as a pdf or you can just um, take a screenshot of this or just write the information down and keep it safe that it's up to you i like keeping important stuff online on my email or my google drive or anywhere or you can just write it down it's, it's up to you guys so that's just it guys the bottom line is you have to keep this information safe so you click on print and then you choose printer here and then you click save as pdf and then you click save and electronic diversity is upon and then you save the document is safe that is it that is the document so you're gonna use your second name and your confirmation number next year when you check for the status if you have been selected that is it about the application guys i don't want to make this video very long so there you have it guys the diversity visa lottery if you have that interest of living and working in the united states permanently the green card lottery is one of the best ways that you can make that dream a reality so guys, this marks the end of the video thank you so much for watching up to this far and if you have questions suggestions or more information about this subject please leave that in the comment section below so that everybody watching this video can benefit from it and if you think that you require more information about that diversity visa lottery you can go ahead and click the links in the descriptions or you can watch this video here it may be packing more information that i have not mentioned in this actual video so yeah go ahead and watch that video